This video is a sample solution for the vector exercise, which was to translate this class named vector from Python into Java. And you were given the basic structure of the class in Java, which I'm starting from in this window on the right. So for this task, we need to translate these four methods named add, subtract, scale, and length. The hardest part of this is getting the types correct. Um, because in Java, we need to declare the types of variables like other, new x, and new y. We need to declare what type of thing this method returns. Um, so the very first thing you want to do is get the types correct. And a type could be something like int or double, it could be string, or it could be vector. And that's the um, most useful type for the add method because actually it turns out this add method takes a vector as its input and returns a vector as its output. So we need to use vector as a type, and because vector is a class, therefore it is a type. So we can tell that other is going to be a vector because we're accessing its x field on this line, that's line 10, and we're accessing its y field on line 11. You can see the code other.x, other.y. So that means that other must be a vector because it must be something that has an x field and has a y field. We can also see on line 12 that this line returns a vector object, uh, this is how you call the vector constructor in Python. So this is going to create a vector object and therefore return it. So this method is going to return a vector. It's called add, and it takes a vector named other as its parameter. Uh, we don't need to take the self as a parameter. That's a detail in Python that we don't need in Java. In Java, I use the this keyword to refer to the current object. So the first line of this method, which is line 10, declares a variable named new x and that the value of this new variable will be self.x plus other.x well that will be this.x plus other.x in java so i'm going to create this variable new x because i'm writing in java i need to say that this variable holds a double and i know that it's going to be a double because the x field is of type double so if i add two doubles together then i'll get a double the name for this should be new x with a capital X rather than an underscore if we're following Java's naming conventions. And then it's going to be this.x plus other.x. The next line will be very similar. We're declaring a variable called new y. And that will be this.y plus other.y. So these are, these are direct translations of these two statements into Java. And then finally, this line 12, we're going to return a new vector object. So this vector here is calling a constructor to create a new object. The only difference here, other than the names of these variables, is that we need to use the new keyword in Java to create a new vector. So we're returning new vector with new x and new y and then semicolon. So this is a translation of the add method into Java. And the hardest part is working out what the types of these variables should be and what type of thing this method should return. The other differences are just these syntactic details like the word this and the keyword new. And of course, you need braces around the body of the method and semicolons at the end of each statement. Let's translate the subtract method. And this will look very similar. We can see again that other must be a vector because it has a dot x and a dot y. Vector is the only type that has an x field and a y field. We can see that this is returning a vector, so the return type should be declared as vector. The name of the method is subtract. And this method again takes one parameter, which is called other, and it's of type vector. So the next few lines are very similar to before. All we're doing is subtraction instead of addition. So let's write this out. Double new x equals this dot x minus other dot x. Double new y equals this dot y minus other dot y. Semicolon. And then we're going to return a new vector object. And the components for the vector that we're creating are new x and new y. So that's the subtract method translated. Now let's translate the scale method. And again, the very first thing we want to do is work out the types that are involved. This method we can see again returns a vector. So the return type is vector. The name of the method is scale. So let's get the structure of this uh, code in to start with. Again, we can ignore self as an input. We don't need to take the, the parameter named self. We can just take this parameter named factor. And we need to think how is factor being used? 
well, on lines 20 and 21, we're multiplying by factor. So factor must be something we can multiply by. It must be some kind of number. So when I'm declaring this parameter named factor, it needs to be some kind of number. And let's choose double, since the numbers we're dealing with are all doubles. So we're taking one parameter named factor as the input to this method. And the next couple of lines will be very similar to what we wrote before. We're going to create a variable called new x. So that's double new x equals this dot x times factor double new y equals this dot y times factor and then we're going to return again a new vector with the new x and new y um, as the parameters for the constructor here okay there's one more method to translate and that's named length in Python, this length method takes self as a parameter. We know we don't need that in Java. And there are no other parameters for this method in Python. Therefore, there are no parameters at all for this method in Java. And we need to think what type the length method returns. We can see that this returns the square root of something called r squared. And r squared must be a double because it's the square of x plus the square of y. And x and y are both doubles. So the square root of a double will be a double. So this method therefore returns a double. So it's called double length. It takes no parameters. And the line 25, we're going to declare a variable named r squared. Following Java's naming conventions, that will be lowercase r, then capital S for the next word. r squared without an underscore. And at this point, we need to know how to square a number in Java. There are two options here. Squaring a number means multiplying it by itself. So I can write this dot x times this dot x, and that's squaring x. And then I can add this dot y times this dot y. This is all fine. And then I can return math with a capital M dot sqrt r squared. So the math class with a capital M is what I use to call this square root method in Java. You can find that by doing a Google search. There's another alternative for squaring these numbers. Uh, you may, if you do a Google search, find the function math.pow. That's a static method on the math class. So we would write math.pow. So if I delete this, then a closer translation of the Python code would be x to the power 2, which is math.pow x2. And I can write x or this dot x in Java either way is fine. And then we want to add y to the power 2. So that's math.pow y2. Or I can write this dot y. So this is a full solution to the vector task. If I click compile here, I'm expecting to see no syntax errors. And that's what I do see. If you do see a syntax error, then either it will be because you've made a small syntax error, like missing a brace, missing a bracket, missing a semicolon, something like that. Maybe you forgot the new keyword here. Um, alternatively, you may see an error if you've got the types wrong. So for example, if I said that vector is a factor here, and if I click compile, then it's going to show me an error here. It says bad operand types for binary operator star, first type double, second type vector. And although this is showing the error on these two lines, this is the this dot x times factor, this dot y times factor, the error is actually on the previous line where we said that factor should be a vector. The correct type for factor should be double. So if you're getting a type error, then the mistake may be on a different line to the one where you see a red underline. And that's something that can be a bit confusing, which is why it's so important to get the types of the uh, return type, the parameter types, and the variable types. So important to get those correct before you start writing anything else.